97% of Pakistanis can't drink legally, but the country does have one brewery and it's thriving. The Muri Brewery is the oldest continuing industrial enterprise in Pakistan. It's allowed to sell beer to the non-Muslims in the country and recently got permission to export beer internationally. Malik Ayol Sumbal takes us inside Pakistan's only brewery in Ralopindi. Tucked in behind the heavily fortified house of Pakistan's chief of army, the Muri Bury appears transported from Edwardian England. This Bury was built in 1860 to serve the needs of British soldiers stationed there during colonial time. Usually the beer was flown in from Europe. So they, they decided to have their own brewery up in the hills. For more than 200 years, its function has not changed much. It continues to serve a minority who want to drink a local beer. It is not forbidden for, the, for some of the minorities of Pakistan. And secondly, if people don't find uh, innocent pleasures in, uh, in in a, in a glass of beer, then people turn away to more dangerous drugs. In the 1970s, Prime Minister Bhutto banned alcohol in an effort to gain the conservative Muslim vote. But many Pakistanis, particularly those who speak English and live in the major cities, are regular drinkers. And the current president, Zadari, is said to be fond of a drink. We are just facilitating any person who desires our product. So, it's an open, anyone who wants it, he can have it, it's a free society. And as, as I said, we're not allowed to advertise, we are not allowed to promote. Recently, the brewery has been allowed to export beer, but it can only do business in non-Muslim countries. Iran and Afghanistan were its likeliest markets, but it's seeking a foothold in India and China. The future of alcohol in Pakistan is open to debate. Tomorrow, a very right-wing government, a very extremist government, a very religious, uh, tilted government, then the future of brewery will be into a question mark. But uh, if we maintain status quo and if, uh, and if the liberal forces stay in power, then I don't see a problem. Religious hardliners do use alcohol as a powerful political weapon. Before he was assassinated last year, Punjab governor Salman Tassir was condemned for his lifestyle after pictures of him drinking wine at a dinner were circulated. But to date, Muri Buri has not been attacked. We are very, very lucky on that part. Tight security protects the products coming out of Pakistan's only brewery. And that's all for this edition of Asia Calling, your window on Asia. For more stories from our correspondents around the region, visit our website at portalkbr.com. I'm Rebecca Henschke. Thanks to your company. Goodbye for now.